was really good. And, and I think the biggest thing is, and it's like, I, I saw it a different way because, again, I think I see wrestling very different. Like Dave says, oh, they made, you know, um, Garrison look, you know, even better than Pillman. It's like, no, you're dumb. It's like, yeah, Garrison got to do more moves and stuff, but it's like Pillman was the focus on the finish. It's like Pillman was highlighted at the end of that match. The start of the promo they did, again, he talked about Dark Side of the Ring and his dad. It's like they were establishing his personality way more than they did Griff Garrison. And the fact that the finish was around the Bucks trying to beat him and being unable to and having to cheat. And it's like that story highlighted Pillman very, very well. And there was a story to this match. And again, when they were baby faces, I I liked them less because I found they were more a lot of moves. But it's like there was a story to this match and they did a phenomenal job. And to agree with Dave on an occasion, the beginning of that match, I absolutely had Midnight Express vibes with them, you know, feeding the arm drags, taking the hip tosses and just bumping for these guys and moving so quickly. It's like it definitely had an old school Midnight Express vibe with the way they, you know, made these kids look good to start and then got heat. But it's like that sharpshooter teasing the submission and so forth at the end with Pillman and Pillman refusing to give up and, of course, be in position. I so we see his face. It's like Pillman was highlighted so well in the end of that. And I even, you know, DM'd him afterwards. It's like, I, I trust you thanked the Young Bucks like a thousand times tonight because they really did a hell of a job. And it's like, to me, it was like that perfect tag match in that there was the team that went over and then there was the team that got over. And they weren't the same thing. They accomplished two things in one match. It was really good. You know, the thing with the... You know, I like the Young Bucks, like, as a fan. I love them so much more as heels. Like, I just love heel Young Buck matches. I love their babyface matches, but I don't love them as much. And But what I do like about the Young Bucks is that they, for the most part, work differently whether they're a babyface or a heel team and that sounds obvious because you're either a good guy or a bad guy but there's a lot but of teams. Not, not everybody does yeah there's a lot of teams where you work a certain style of match when you're a babyface and then you turn heel and you largely work the same type of match the match is structured differently obviously because you're the heel but you're basically working the same type of match with the young bucks and you know who else did this actually was will osprey when he turned heel the young bucks when they're baby faces, I mean, whether you're a fan of of babyface Young Bucks matches, whether you think there's too many moves or not, the fact of the matter is they're doing what they feel is a crowd-pleasing match as babyfaces. They do a lot of flips. They do a lot of dives. They do a lot of crazy things because that's what they know that these fans want to see, and they're supposed to be babyface. They're supposed to be getting cheered. It's a different kind of match. When they work as heels... Yes, they do some high-flying stuff. Yes, they do some big moves, but they do a lot less. It's a far more psychological style that's designed more to get the baby faces over, their opponents, than it is to get themselves over. Whereas as baby faces, a lot of it, I mean, they're working with their opponents, but a lot of it is trying to get themselves over because they're the babyface team. They work a completely different style of match, and I prefer the heel style that they work over the babyface style. Yeah, I do too. Because it's not about moves. Although moves are fun. Well, moves can be an important part. It's But you have to have the story. And, and again, I just... And also too, just... Again, they're gum chewers, so they already have heat with me. But it's like, just their presentation to me... It's so much easier for me to hate and, and just think they're obnoxious little shits and I want to kill them. And it's like they get great heat just standing there chewing their gum looking like they do. So it, it, it's it, they get a more gut emotion out of me when they're heels. And the fact that they are such great bumpers and seem to be very unselfish as heels, they do a great job of making baby faces. So I, I, I prefer them as heels for sure. And that's the thing. Like, as heels, they are, they are like... They're, it's fun to hate them. It's fun to see them get their asses kicked. It's not like the kind of heat where it's like, fuck, another goddamn Young Bucks match. Jesus Christ, you don't want to watch it. You're sick of them. It's not that sort of heat. It's You laugh so hard when fucking Nick tries to get in the ring and he trips on the fucking ropes and falls on his face. That's the kind of stuff that's great. 
Well, yeah, it, it's 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 the heat that I really enjoy watching them get beat up, which is really great. And I'm not even talking about the tripping and falling stuff. It's like I could, you know, care less about that. But there's just something about their presence that when they go to do something, and again, I don't remember the exact details near the finish, but when, you know, Pillman ended up firing up and super kicking the one, it was like, yeah, kick that little son of a bitch. And it's like, it's fun. And when you can make wrestling fun, I'm I'm all for it. It's party time on the program today. I got our main man, Filthy Tom Lawler, here. We're going to have a celebration for you for your for your epic victory here. Please sit down, Tom. What's going on? You are talking to the champ, baby. Yeah. The new Japan strongest. I got balloons for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yes. There were no balloons. It said, congratulations, new New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. So instead, I got thinking of you and a cat. We're not going to be drinking here on Twitch. We're only going to have a shot. That doesn't count as drinking. The finest. The finest absinthe. A Brian-sized Diet Coke. Look at this thing. Yeah, this is this is a big one. Probably a little bit too big, but you know what? Let's do this. One, two, three. Ooh, man. Oh. The greatest mixed martial artist slash wrestler in figure four history, Thomas Lawler. The greatest Taurus that has ever been a champion professional wrestler. The greatest Taurus? You know what I always do when we're done with calls? I hit this button. You know what it says? It says this. We are sorry, but the show has ended. Goodbye. This right here, my friend, this is Mini Zazu. He is the new show mascot. He's going to be sitting here. He's so proud of you for what you did over that weekend, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. Thanks, man. That's right. No tears on this show, Tom. Come on, buddy. There, Hold it together. Enjoy. You did a there, great there, job. There, there. We're all proud of you here. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.